Good Monday morning, Glads. I'm Kareen McAfee. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in. Before we jump into school announcements, let's hear from Miss Betsy for today's lunch menu. And on Monday, it's a cheeseburger. Hope to see you. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, please add money to your account because you cannot charge your meals. Glads, buy your yearbooks now for only $55 in the business office. Prices will go up in December. And seniors, listen up. The deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook is coming up. You must submit your materials to Mrs. Kennedy by next Friday, October 13th, or the following Friday, October 20th. October 20th is the last day you can bring those in if you want them in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. Those deadlines are coming fast. Maddie, as a senior, how soon did you start your college planning? Corinne, I started last year, but it was easy to do with so many schools visiting us instead of having to go to them. Knowing the lineup is helpful, especially for juniors and seniors. It sure is. Students, most visits are during advisory and the counseling center, and you will need a pass to attend. Here's the lineup for upcoming college visits. October visits kick off tomorrow with reps from California Baptist University, and Colorado Mesa will be here on the 4th. Next week on October 10th, we will have two schools scheduled. Fort Hazley State University will be here during advisory, and Paul Mitchell, the school, will be here at lunch. Hastings College will, is scheduled to be here on October 12th, and CSU Pueblo comes in on October 17th. Pikes Peak Community College will visit on Wednesday, October 18th, and rounding out October will be CU Denver on October 31st. November visits start with Luther College on Thursday, November 2nd, while Adams State plans to be here on Thursday, November 16th. Remember to mark your calendars with these days and swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your hall pass. Corinne, another really great opportunity to check out colleges is at the College Fair at Mesa Ridge. Whitefield High School has 50 open slots to take juniors and seniors to this fair on October 25th. Although most schools will be from in-state, some out-of-state schools will also be there. Students, if you would like to attend, you have to sign up at the counseling office. The deadline to sign up is October 12th, and you must have a permission slip to attend. Permission slips are due no later than October 17th. Now, here's Moose Santos with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Moose Santos with your Gladiator Sports Update. It's Spirit Week. Today is Mathletes vs. Athletes Day, and there are some great outfits out there. Here's the schedule for the rest of the week as we gear up for the Whitefield vs. Mesa rivalry game. Tuesday is Dress to Impress Day. Wednesday is Heroes vs. Villains. Thursday is Jersey Day, and Friday is Blowout Day. Go Glads! Beat Mesa! Here are some scores from the games over the weekend, as well as scheduled game dates for the week. In softball news, our Lady Glads played their rained out game against Woodland Park on Friday afternoon and managed to heat up the diamond for the win. The ladies are scheduled to be back on the diamond tomorrow at home against the Elizabeth Cardinals at 4 p.m. The boys tennis team is prepping for regional matches on Thursday at Cheyenne Mountain High School. In soccer news, the boys hit the field on Saturday morning against Pueblo East and managed to take the win. Mark your calendars for the Lady Glads Dig Peak game tomorrow night at 6 p.m. The game is against Mesa Ridge and the Lady Glads would like to remind everyone to wear pink to the game to raise awareness of and support for breast cancer research. Go Glads! Beat Mesa! The cross country team ran on Saturday at the Rampart Invite and brought back some solid finishes. Next up for cross country is the Doherty Invite on Thursday afternoon. Our Gladiator football team took their domination on the road Friday night against Chatfield Chargers, but dropped a heartbreaking loss to the Chargers. Not to worry, the boys are keeping their heads up and are confident in their game playing and our future success on Saturday when they meet the Grizzlies at 1 p.m. Remember, we will be the visiting team. And finally, Glads, open gym for both boys and girls are happening on Mondays and Wednesdays. Pay attention. Here's how they're dividing this time. Ladies start on Monday in Bowers Gym from 6 to 8 p.m., while the boys will be in the small gym also on Monday. On Wednesdays, the ladies will be in the small gym and the boys will be in Bowers from 6 to 8 p.m. If you haven't made it to the gym yet but are interested or need more information, speak with Coach Munoz in room 207. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's our sports update. Have a great Monday. I'm Moose Santos. Now back to you, Corinne and Maddie. Thanks, Moose. Hey, juniors. This PSAT test is coming up on Wednesday. 
October 11th, during periods 1 through 4. You need to take this test to qualify for the National Merit Scholar Scholarship to sign up and pay the fee no later than October 6th. The cost is $16, and Ms. Abeda and the Counseling Center will get you squared away and collect your fee. See the Counseling Center website for more information. Hey Glads, remember, the Color God fundraiser is happening on Wednesday, October 4th. We know there are many wing lovers out there, so you should go out and support the Color Guard at Buffalo Wild Wings on Geyser Drive. Pick up a coupon from any Color Guard member and show it to your server for the Color Guard to receive 10% of your bill. Hey Glads, are you getting a good night's sleep? Do you feel like the princess in the pea? It could be your mattress. What to do about that, you ask? The Widefield High School Theater Program is holding its first annual mattress fundraiser. You heard that right. It's a mattress sale. On Saturday, October 21st, the Whitefield High School Small Gym will have mattresses of all sizes, styles, and the price ranges for purchase. The sale will run from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you or someone in your family needs a new mattress, you should come check it out. Proceeds benefit the Whitefield High School Theater Program. And now, here are your club and activity updates for Monday and Tuesday. Science Club meets today at lunch in room 121. Coding Club also meets today in room 7 from 3 to 4 p.m. with Ms. Hines. And the Spirit Club also meets after school today in rooms 502 or 511. Check your calendar for these Tuesday meetings and activities. Forensics in Ms. Owen's room at lunch. Check with her or Mr. Alhoffer for upcoming meetings. The Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Book Club has changed its meeting day from every other Tuesdays to every other Thursdays at lunch in the magazine room in the library. Their next meeting is on October 12th. Link Crew meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory in rooms 123, 124, or 201. And finally, if you're interested in the Red Cross Club, they meet at lunch on Tuesdays in room 109 with Ms. Shepard. As always, Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID like this one to stay in play or to work on homework. And just a few housekeeping notes before we go. Glads, our teachers and staff are pretty special. Remember, if you'd like to recognize one of your teachers with a reverse power card, you can pick up a card at the attendance office and drop it in the bin, and we do the rest. Finally, seniors, listen up. Your first class meeting will be this Thursday, October 5th, during advisory. Be sure to attend this meeting because there will be important graduation information as well as other important information for the class of 2018. If you cannot make it to this meeting, please see Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center after October 5th to collect the information you missed. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Monday. I'm Karen McAfee. And I'm Maddie Hager, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great day. From a grade to my line to get in touch with Kevin G. I'm a math leap, so nerd isn't bird, but forget what you heard.